Our story began in February of 2011 uh, when we came into office and when I began uh, the opportunity of uh, leading Iowa Workforce Development. We, our team, actually went on this journey in order to be more cost efficient because of the severe budget cuts that we were under, but yet deliver at least as good of or perhaps more services to Iowans who are searching for jobs, as well as Iowa businesses who are looking for qualified applicants for job openings. We knew that we had a task because the cost efficiency side uh, was really a challenge for us, so we had looked to ways to reinvent our uh, deployment system of services to the public. So our team came up, our IT team came up with the solution of this virtual uh, desktop opportunity with um, new storage capabilities which enabled us to real time be able to um, serve more customers at the same time yet more in an electronic way than ever before. So we started with 55 field offices. Uh, we've closed 36 of those, so we have now 15 one-stops and four satellite offices. But our great team in Iowa, we were able to now open up over 700 access points throughout the state. So we are now in every single county, in many places in every single county. And we've also expanded our hours because virtualization allowed us uh, the opportunity to expand the hours where we actually have people interfacing with customers. We are now open um, 8 to 8 on Monday through Thursdays, 8 to 7 on Fridays, and 9 to 2 on Saturdays. A couple of unique partners that, uh, that I'd like to point out. Uh, the unique partnership among IP Pathways, VMware, and NetApp really brought us a solution set of a platform that we could use where all of these partners shared equally in the development of the virtualization and the storage requirements and, and the capacity requirements as well as um, knowing that our system would always be up and the uh, support system behind all that. That coupled with the team that we had of non-technology people uh, on our side, on the agency side, who believed in our technology team enough to deploy this system, to reinvent ourselves through the system. And our team made themselves available uh, to the technology team and vice versa. So we actually uh, really grew in that we have now embedded new partnerships that we've never had in the past uh, to provide the solution to our customers whom our customers have really never had access to in the, pa in the past, but they do now because they're the ones obviously that dictate the requirements of the solution that we have out in the marketplace. A couple of the most significant advantages and benefits is, first of all, first of all our customers have about a 50% more access to us uh, in a uh, time sphere that they've never had before. And it's access to a supported atmosphere so that if there are questions or issues, uh, we're very confident in not only um, our supporting of their questions, but also where our partners are in supporting us through that whole process. Secondly, we have a great advantage because we can spend a lot of time now on the content and the breadth of our product rather than worrying about the IT and capacity side of our product because our partners with VMware and IP Pathways and NetApps have given us uh, that confidence that we can uh, use our very small discretionary dollars uh, to work on content rather than uh, worried about keeping a system up that is perhaps old and outdated. And thirdly, I think our, our um, customers real time have input into what's important for them. And after all, that's who, who we are servicing, not only our businesses in the state of Iowa, but also the people in the state of Iowa who want to get jobs or who want to get different jobs or different skill sets. 
what we're looking to now, the opportunity for us in the future, uh, is to expand this to education in ways that we've never thought might be possible. And we can do that because of the capacity that we have on the system. Uh, we're looking to expanding this to high school, uh, which for us is a whole new uh, segment of population, so that people can have access to information about jobs and credentialing and skill set at a much younger age. And they'll be able to do that on their uptime, whenever that is. So that's what this technology partnership has afforded us, not only a way to deliver our systems of past uh, kinds of things, but also to expand it to brand new opportunities. I can tell you, finally, throughout the state of Iowa, all of the other agencies are now taking a look at how they can also use this kind of technology and virtualization uh, to really do their services better and deliver uh, services in a more uh, real-time way for customers in the state of Iowa. I know specifically for my team, it will be a great honor to actually have an outside um, acknowledgement of all the work and success of what they've done in the past 12 months because it has been quite a challenging year for us. I am really looking forward now to the following years as it comes along to see who the next Innovation Award winners are going to be. Because certainly I understand the, uh, the uh, breadth of the award, I understand the challenge of the award, and it's just very invigorating to watch different segments of businesses and industries participate in a um, challenge that I guess we really didn't know was out there uh, as far as the awards were concerned, but we certainly um, really invite the challenge of technology and servicing people better.